you have to capture your canvas's likeness in the comic book character. Oh, man. Morphing the canvases into superheroes? I'm not a nerd. I don't tattoo this kind of crap on people. This week, we're testing consistency. Consistency is being able to show pretty much the same thing over and over again. You must be able to tattoo uniform lines, shading, and color, giving your design a harmonious look. There's no better test of consistency than an image so iconic that any inconsistency will be obvious. Comic book characters. Yes. The challenges of pulling off comic book tattoo are making it as direct to the comic character at hand. People that are comic nerds, which I say that proudly, they know when something's off. Founded in 1934, DC Comics is home to the world's greatest superheroes, like the Green Lantern, Superman, and Wonder Woman, and of course, Batman. But this week, you won't be tattooing a superhero. You must tattoo a super villain. Without villains, you have no need for heroes. Generally, villains are more dynamic than the hero themselves. You will have six hours to complete your super villain tattoo. Based on your work, one of you will close shop. Good luck. Consistency comes into play in all tattoos. It's your line weight, it's your shading, it's your values. It's everything that goes into creating a super villain. I think I do like it more real, less cartoon. That whoop's gonna be a lot. Do you like that? I wanted to try to work in the cats. Dude, I don't know what angle you went on this one, man, but I'm pumped on this. I just thought about it. I was like, you know what? If I'm gonna win, it's gonna be because I did some sick New school this thing up, buddy. I'll just watch you freaking enjoy your way out of this competition. You have six hours to tattoo your canvas with a badass supervillain. And your time starts. Now. All right. All right, let's do it. Let's do it, buddy. I think that's actually perfect right here. My canvas wanted to get dark side from feet to head. It's not possible in six hours. This tattoo is probably the absolute hardest one that's out there. Okay. How would you feel about doing that face that we have? Can you show it to me again? Yep. My idea is to do the head up with glowing eyes, a more dynamic looking picture anyways. Would you be doing it in the background, or would it just be the face? I would try to get the background. OK. It's $100,000. We're going to do it my way. I was getting ready to tattoo myself at that point. She said no, you know? Really? Yeah. All right, you ready? I definitely want to try and beat Jimmy. He sneaked out the win last time. It's almost like traditional, which is kind of the cool part of this challenge. I need to be consistent in reproducing the actual comic reference. Definitely have to change these needles out to something smaller just to do what we're doing. If I can nail this tattoo, then I might have a chance to win. I take what I do know of Poison Ivy and create my own version of what this character is. I don't necessarily know that New School's ever going to come up in the challenges, but I figure this is going to be the closest thing that I'm going to get to really, really put it out there. So this is my style of tattooing. So for me, I'm in a good running to win this challenge. I'm super stoked. Four more hours. This is what I'm booked out for months and months and months doing is these beautiful portraits. I really want to show the intensity of this image and the character of Bane. I'm just excited to show something that I'm really, really comfortable with. This thing's going to look awesome. They're all going to be shocked when I win. What Joshua is doing, it's more to the realistic side. This is a comic book challenge. If something looks too realistic, you automatically deserve to be in the bottom. Anything realistic, you know, I love it. The fact that the challenge is consistency. I'm going to tattoo this thing like you ripped it off a comic book page. Two dollars a single needle. Being so meticulous with these lines is taking me forever. I have to cut this piece in half, or there's no way that I'm going to finish this tattoo. There's a lot of lines. I'm not going to do all of this. It's not a problem. Tattoo Baby's doing some really weird <laughs> with cutting the body off, and I definitely don't see how she can talk <laughs> to me about my artistry. Because he has a fresh scar going across his left leg, I flipped the image and put it on his right leg instead. A face should always face it. Once again, time is of the essence, so I rushed the damn tattoo. Wish I had a little bit more time to blend things out. This sucks. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
one. That's it. Time's up. Machine's down. No more ink. You are done. Holy <laughs> That's exactly like the picture. <laughs> I love the way this looks. It's badass, man. It's badass. It's not sick. Wow. Love it? I love it. I really do. He screwed the pooch. He did not follow the challenge. He took a comic book style tattoo. He did a beautiful new school tattoo. Okay, Jimmy, did you come here just to get more new school business or did you come here to compete? Artists, today we tested your consistency by asking you to tattoo a badass supervillain. Kyle, you're up first. The attention to detail that you put into this face is fantastic. The use of the black creates enough depth and enough contrast to where you have the blue and the green transitions to the fiery red in the eyes, to the orange, to the yellow, and it looks great. Where you get challenged again is your background. That black oval that goes around the outside takes my eye away from what I really want to be looking at. There's this balancing act that you have here where you're trying to get a tattoo done in a certain amount of time. I made it a size I thought I could get it done and still get the background she wanted. Joey. Your attention to detail, wow factor for me. Along the legs, along the sides, to see you ink on your canvas with the scissor hatching, the style that I'm familiar with from comic books, I was pretty impressed, because it's hard enough to do it on paper, and you're pulling it off on skin. I didn't really know until I started how much time that was gonna take. Yeah. So I was like second guessing myself at some points. Thank you. Jackie. You have a lot of beat up line work in this thing. You jacked it up because of the very thin, weak outlines you did in the face, it doesn't look solid. It looks too weak. We've been battling line work all along. Not all along. Chris, it's no disrespect to you. No, no I'm just like... saying. It doesn't convey comic book inking, it conveys a scratchy line. Consistency, you made a major alteration to it. It's backwards. You flipped it, therefore now he's burned on the opposite side of his body, so you're basically altering this Pseudo history. It'd be wrong to do that for sure. Didn't even think about that. Jason. This is probably the cleanest tattoo we've seen from you. There's a lot of great consistencies in this tattoo that we've seen lacking in your other tattoos. I'm starting to feel the flow here and feel a little bit more comfortable getting rid of some of my anxieties when I'm tattooing. Your saturation, color-wise, does not stack up. These transitions from the blacks to the blues and the very washed-out orange do not do it for me. I always think that there's room for improvement in every tattoo. Your consistency in your application is not going to stack up against these guys today. Joshua. It seems like you've embodied your character in this competition. It's good for the supervillain to come out and pound one back at the heroes. Whether they like you or not, they got to suck it up and beat it. It's a really nice job. Overall, this being DC Comic Challenge, I think you really captured the essence of this character. This smooth shading, all that black and all that deep shadowing that gives the shape of the wrinkles in his forehead, very consistent. If you can do that's this complex and make it look this good, then why are you lagging? You should be able to do this quality on everything, all the time. Thank you. Tattoo baby. How are you feeling this week as opposed to last week? I guess I feel a little bit better because I let it out. Well, what you did here, I love. I think you came back really strong. There's some incredible detail, especially in the hair. Those teeth are really, really beautiful. The question I have for you, why does it just end the way it does like that? I had a little bit of issues with time, doing all those little lines. If I would have gone any lower, then it would have brought down the quality of my tattoo. Jimmy. As a guy who draws poison ivy, I think it missed the mark. She should be a seductress. She's not drawing me in. I don't draw it every day, so that's your area. Well, that's why I'm here, I assume. You missed in capturing the essence of this character. Bottom line is I'm 100% happy with what I turned out. This is a game. This is not a comic book tattoo. Today, DC Comic Day. Your tattoo should look like a comic book. I executed the tattoo, I did what I did, and I stand behind it. We know you can draw. You don't have to prove that to anybody. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Joey. 
Joey, you captured the essence, the playfulness, the danger of Catwoman. It looks like it was peeled from the pages of the comics and pasted on flesh. I love everything about it. Thank you very much. Jackie, Jason, Jimmy, any one of you could justifiably be sent home. Jimmy, you're here because the human canvas jury voted that you had the worst tattoo of the day. Not everyone's gonna like what I do, but I've been doing it for 20 years. But you can't stylize something to the point where it's unrecognizable. This is not poison ivy. It's a cutesy little cartoony green creature. You've missed the essence. Can't make everyone happy. I did take a risky move in making an artistic design, but a lot of elements that were tattooed today won't be here in a while. Joey did an amazing tattoo. Patchwork in that whip that you love so much ain't gonna be there in 10 years. Jackie. If this was my tattoo, the fact that the wrong side of the face is burned would bug me. I fell short a little today, but I think that you can see that I'm a good artist. Jason. All in all, this is one of your better tattoos, but the colors and the saturated some of the other people's. You and Jackie are battling it out. All right, guys. The judges have decided. Jackie, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. You have six hours to tattoo an X-Men color portrait, and your time starts now. Okay, let's do this. When looking at a color portrait, you're looking for it to be an exact replica of the photo. Therefore, everything has to be precise. The eyes have to line up, the shading on the nose has to be just right. You have to capture every little essence of the face. Yeah, dude. Can't wait, let's do it. So I'm feeling really good about my tattoo. It's coming out exactly the way I want it to. Very nice, very nice. It's looking really good. The nose, lips, eyes, cheekbones look exactly like the reference. I love it. Four hours remaining. There only could be one Wolverine. Uh, yeah, it might be me. Yeah, I think it might be me. My guy won the last challenge, so. Only time will tell, amigo. I am so focused, there is no way that Maddie's gonna beat me. It's awesome, man. If he wins, he can validate his skill. If I win, you know, it's cool. Two hours to go. Right now, I'm stuck in the middle of the road at best, and I need to get the off this road. My canvas wanted to get the knives in, but I'm very concerned about time. I'm very upset that I can't let them in. If I don't finish this tattoo, I'm screwed. Because Warpath always has knives, as soon as you take his knives out, it's no longer Warpath. It could just be anybody. This is a huge mistake. I just hope it looks good. You think it's gonna look good? I think it'll look cool. Okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's it. Machines down, no more ink. All right, my young lady. Wow, that is awesome. Oh, uh, yeah. That's the number one Wolverine. <laughs> awesome. Today, we ask you to use technical precision to create an X-Men color portrait. Lydia. What happened here with the negative space underneath this gentleman? He initially had the knives but I didn't have enough time, so I just figured I'd put a big X down there. What makes this character recognizably X-Men are those blades. Missing those, it's very difficult for me to know who this is. Sausage. I really, really like the background. It puts a comic book feel to a realistic portrait. Looking at this tattoo, it has so many tricks. You have great application, you have really solid fundamentals. Overall, man, good job. Halo. Your skin tone is a lot darker than the photo. That is a good choice. You have to up the contrast on these light skin tones or else they're just gonna blend into the person's natural skin tone. Rolling. When you're doing a portrait, you got to copy the structure of the face. She does not even have the same shape. The color fades are not there. Color, as you know, is not my forte. I don't find any redeeming qualities in this tattoo at all. Maddie. 
You gave them some heavy bags under the eyes, and that puts years on them. But you brought a lot of work to this. I love the way that you took an artistic liberty in the right side of the face and brought that white highlight to really get that backlit look. That was a really nice touch, and you came and you really outdid a lot of people. Scott. You stuck to the structure of the face. You kept the likeness of the character. Not going with the dark background around the hair, I think, is a wise choice. This tattoo has a ton of technical precision. That nice, clean netting in that armor, it's beautiful. The glow in the background is nice. It's a good use of color palette, and overall, it's a really strong tattoo. Today, you tattooed the best test of precision that there is, a color portrait. Roland, you're here because Scott put you up for elimination. Scott, why did you put Roland up for elimination? I felt that his piece was one of the weakest. This one, that was it for him, in my opinion. I will admit this is a very difficult tattoo that's been out of my repertoire, but I'm here to fight. I'm here to stay here. Lydia, you're here because the human canvases determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. As far as my tattoo being worse than Roland, I don't agree with that. I believe I'm a better tattoo artist than him. When the human canvas jury calls you down, that for you is a major nail in the coffin. That's your client base. It was a tough tattoo to get through, and I overthought it. Roland and Lydia, either one of you could be packing your machines. The judges have decided. Roland, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. Today, we're going to be tattooing my favorite comic book characters. Oh, dude. The catch is you have to capture your canvas's likeness in the comic book character. Oh, man. Morphing the canvases into superheroes? I'm not a nerd. I don't tattoo this kind of crap on people. All right, Sausage, have a seat. This challenge is specifically designed to test you at the drawing table. This will definitely separate the veterans from the rookies. All right, guys, Sausage called the shot today. You have six hours to use creativity to transform your canvas into a comic book character. And your time begins now. All right, man, let's do this. Today, creativity is going to be everything, because these artists are going to have to transform their canvases into superheroes. That's going to be awesome. If these artists don't come up with a strong concept, it's going to be painfully obvious, and they're going to be out of here. This one's going to rock. Yes. It hits on all cylinders, and it does exactly what the challenge is asking for. I was bullied my whole season, and now my very first canvas is an anti-bullying woman. I'm extremely thankful for being given another chance to come out and Absolutely. prove my worth, because I know what kind of a competitor I am, but it's tough. This time around, I mean business. I will no longer play nice. I will stand up for myself, because I have to. Love me, because you're going to have a good tattoo. You got this. You're golden. You're a superhero sausage. You're like super summer sausage. <laughs> you know, I try. You have four hours remaining. Hey. hey. Oh, so you didn't go small. <laughs> Megan and Christian got it out for me. I am screwed on this chasing the fame superhero. I have to do a whole back piece for all the crap that this guy wants to put in this thing. Oh, my god. Megan and Christian are on my list. What's your guy's special power? A uh, combat medic with angel wings to be able to fly in and rescue other soldiers. I've never taken my client and actually put them into the tattoo, but I'm an artist, so I don't have anything to worry about. The other artists should definitely not underestimate me. I'll do what it takes, man. Well, so this is Sweet Tooth, and after a meal when you're craving something sweet mm -hmm. to eat, she just pops off. <laughs> I need to kill this elimination tattoo. I don't want to wind up on the bottom again. She looks so dope. You like it so far? Yeah. Awesome. I gave up everything when I started tattooing. I stopped going to art school. I dropped out with a semester left. My parents even stopped talking to me. I just want to prove to everyone that I made the right choice, and here I am. I am definitely a perfectionist, and time is my enemy. I've never done something this detailed in this amount of time. If you're gonna do something, go big or go home. Five, 
four, three, two, one. That is it. Time's up. Machine's down. No more ink. Today, Sausage challenged you to transform your canvas into a comic book character. Sausage, let's start with you. What comic book character did your canvas want to be? The comic book character that helped identify with no bullying. You had one of the toughest challenges, but giving your canvas exactly what they want in an amazing, creative way. Or shortening in the tattoo speaks to the superhero. You give it that exaggerated hand and the punch. Overall, it's a sticker. You did a great job. Yeah. Clean. What comic book character did your canvas want to be? One of chasing the fame. This is a hard one. I'm just not a fan of the drawing of this tattoo. There's areas of technical ability that's the same old clean approach. Big areas of solid color, well applicated. But really, when it comes down to the fundamentals of the drawing of this thing, I just don't like it. I don't like the girl's hand that's wadded up on his thigh. I don't like her feet. It's rough. Anthony. <sighs> What comic book character did your canvas want to be? He really wanted to portray a military medic. I like this tattoo a lot. The drawing is awesome. There's a couple areas where I really get that comic book feel from, and a lot of that is that hatching in some of the shading. And then in terms of just details, like particularly in the scarf, going over each one of those folds in that fabric is so intensely amazing. So far, I like everything I've seen you do. You've been consistent. That's what it takes. You just run this thing to the end. I think you did a hell of a job. Picasso. You captured her likeness. You've got a great drawing. It really even has her personality in it. But her lips, her nose, her eyes, they're scribbly. It looks smeared. It looks like this is on paper and you walked in the rain to get here. Where did you start coloring in this tattoo? Her hair. That's where you started. So that's where you were at your most comfortable, at your most relaxed moment, you still weren't on. I have never done work that looks like this. Creativity. You're through the roof, man. Technically, I find a lot of problems. You gotta pray that somebody behind you dropped the ball. Ashley. How did you arrive at this design? My canvas is a pastry chef, so she wanted to depict a superhero. In terms of creativity, I think you've got a lot of nice elements in here, but there are some anatomical issues with the way she's posed. I did try to give you that action shot. Her left leg, the way that's coming out and bent back, there's some perspective issues with the drawing itself. You have a big, awkward, square, cardboard cutout arm coming off this girl's body that doesn't look like it's coming at you. All right, guys, based on creativity, who had the best tattoo of the day? By far, the tattoo that stands out the most to me is Anthony's. I have to agree, man. Anthony really turned in a nice, solid, beautiful tattoo. Speaking of creativity, Sausage really put together an all-encompassing story of his canvas's character. Best tattoo of the day for me goes to Anthony. I'm going to go with Anthony. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Anthony. Today, you were judged on creativity. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. It's time to find out who the Human Canvas jury chose. Clean. You're here because the Human Canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. I don't agree with that. At all. They just said overall I didn't look like a superhero. I was just shocked. I had no idea that I would end up being down here. Was the jury voting based on the superhero aspect of this or the technical way in which the tattoo was applied into the skin? Not the technicality, yeah. Just overall the look. The idea. Yes. In my opinion, I think it does look like a superhero. I love it, man. Jay, thank you so much for joining us. All right. Thank Off you, guys. Go. Thanks, buddy. I tried to give him exactly what he wanted, so my guy's chasing the fame being a lady killer. On Ashley's tattoos, I've seen nothing but technical flaws. But I really followed the challenge and what was asked for as far as comic book character. You definitely hit the key points of the creativity. Picasso can draw better than almost anybody I've seen or I know, but he's here because of the way that it lands in the skin. And there's just a vast divide between the two of you together and clean. I'm not gonna argue that. He ain't going home. That's for damn sure. Not today. I've been in my head this whole time. I let the get in my head and I'm blowing it. Here's where I'm having a problem. The gems. Look at the trail that you have of red that runs right off the top like you just took a line and went That is beyond nerves. You're tripping. You're freaking the out while you're tattooing. I'm ready to get out of my head. I'm ready to 
Stop trying to impress you with complicated drawings. I'm ready to tattoo. All right, it's time to decide. Clean, you're not going anywhere today. This is between Picasso and Ashley. From Ashley, we got three outings in the bottom. We have Picasso down here for the first time. I'm actually pretty decided. What are you thinking? I see technical problems with both of them, but my vote's for Ashley. The judges have decided, Ashley, you do not have what it takes to be an ink master. Please pack your machines and close shop. This pisses me off. Clean's tattoo is ugly. I was the most creative person in the house that thought out the box. They wanted a comic book. I gave them that. I gave them a superhero. And I'm going home and it's bullshit.